Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast in the Men Network with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thank you, Toasters, for joining me. Thank you for the support. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when this content drops. Toasters, in 1 Corinthians, it reads, When I was a child, I thought as a child, I understood as a child, I spoke as a child. But when I became a man, I put away all childish things. I believe it's in Proverbs 23 and 7, it says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I definitely like the line in Pound Cake, Drake's song with Jay-Z, when he says, You know it's real when you are who you think you are. The evolution from boy to man. Toasters is so paramount. It's so important, imperative, that we understand that we must evolve. But we got to identify what we are and know and see and visualize where we're going to be. We got to be able to see ourselves there, even though we may not physically be there. We got to project ourselves there in our subconscious. And that's the only way we got to get, we're going to get there. We got to have a vision. Over the past few days, for some reason, maybe not for some reason, you know, I look at his videos a lot, listen to his music a lot, Young Jeezy, or now it goes by Jeezy. He's been popping up in my, my YouTube timeline. And I've been seeing that he's been giving out a lot of interviews recently. And I discovered, I was looking at these interviews that he's on a book tour. He's on a book tour run. Uh, the book called, his book is called Adversity for Sale. You gotta believe. Yeah, that's the name of it. Adversity for Sale, you gotta believe. And what's so ironic right now with him coming out with this book, promoting this book, is that he's had a few old affiliates, old comrades, old employees, old friends come out recently and give interviews to different platforms. And they've had some disparaging remarks to say about them, former bodyguard, former assistant last few years i guess uh rappers that were on his label um uh, even when he did the verses against gucci man two years ago he got some flack for that because he didn't retaliate in the way people wanted him to retaliate when gucci man became disrespectful about his dad homie about jesus dad homie right there in his face, people, certain people, old friends, and people with a certain mindset, a mindset that hasn't evolved into manhood and high level thinking. They had a lot to say about how he handled that situation. But I thought he handled it in a player way. He got the last word and that drop he hit him with when he said what he said. It was epic. It was so epic. And it made Gucci Man reflect. Although Gucci Man seemingly has made strides and has evolved in some ways as a man, it made him look at himself when he saw how Jeezy handled the situation. It made him look at himself and probably say, I'm not where I thought I was. I hadn't grown to a level I thought I had grown to. And he had to come back and apologize for disrespecting uh, that, that dead homie of Jeezy. And sending out that message, that, that evil message out to the youth and out to people. You got grown men that uh, still follow you know, the madness of other men. 
And so he had to come back the next day and apologize. He didn't have to, but he did. His heart, his conscience was convicted. And that's a good thing. It shows that he's on the right path. And so those things happen. You know, we, uh, we think we're at a different level. We think we've grown, we've progressed, we've evolved. Sometimes we're tested. I spoke about this yesterday, the law of polarity, how we should embrace it, and that we're always going to be faced with it. That's the law of the universe. Uh, the polar opposite will face you, no matter if uh, you, you proclaim to be uh, a savage, something will come into your life, the polar opposite of that, and test to see if you're really a savage, right? And it tests your gangster or it tests your heart, uh, meaning you could be faced with another savage or somebody even more savage and see what that's about. Or you could be faced with a situation where it causes you to show humility and humbleness and love and compassion. And you find out I'm not as hard as I thought I was. Um, but anytime you proclaim something, anytime you voice something, speak something to the universe, that polar opposite, the extreme opposite is going to show up and test you. And, you know, that's what happened to Gucci, man. And that's what happened to Jeezy. Because Jeezy had proclaimed that he had evolved, that he wasn't the same. And he was tested because Gucci man went in with the disrespect right across from him. And uh, that was the test. See, are you where you say you are? Are you dedicated to this new life like you say you are? Um, and it's okay, y'all, to take two, three steps back and have to recover. Things happen. You know, nobody's going to bat a thousand. Nobody's going to ace the test 100% of the time, you know. But to recognize, you know, that I'm not exactly there or I'm, 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 I am human and I got to be conscious and stay alert and be on guard. Yeah, that's powerful in itself. But I've been seeing a lot of people, old affiliates, come out against Jeezy, as Jeezy for the last few years have been on this track of evolving as a man. Uh, he doesn't hang with the same people. He doesn't even make the same type of rap music. And uh, just listening to these interviews and listening to these former friends, I understand what Jeezy is saying. And this is not to uh, come down on these former affiliates or employees or rappers too hard because we all got our own walk and we all are not at the same pace in the same uh, race. You know, we got different walks, we got different races, and we got different lessons to learn. And so that's where you got to show compassion and patience with people and love. But I do understand why he had to separate himself. Because these old affiliates, man, they want him to keep it gangster. Um, they want him to be the old Jeezy. And they can't accept and respect and love and embrace the new evolved Jeezy. And when he was giving these interviews on Big, Big Boy TV and some other platforms, Without pinpoint people or calling out names, he was saying that's why he had to separate himself because he started having aha moments as he was going through stuff. The universe, life, God was showing him things where he had slippage, where he needed to evolve, where he needed to close up some gaps in his life. And he started doing that. But then his insecurity started kicking in because he was like, how are my people gonna accept this change? And then you're looking around and you're like, they ain't ready to evolve with me. They're gonna, it's going to be some resistance. And so uh, dealing with that is something and also breaking off that core, that attachment, that connection. People who've been down with you, people who've had your back, uh, you've broken bread with, probably cried with, laughed with. You know, there's some mischievous things with, have some joys with. You got to break that off. 
And so that's a, that's a challenge within itself. But you must evolve as a man. Your thinking must constantly elevate. And the ultimate goal is for that mind to elevate to a Christ consciousness. That's the ultimate goal. But to get to that point, you're gonna have to cut out some friendships. You're gonna have to cut out some family members. You're gonna have to cut out some old parts of you or your flesh and deny yourself of some things and fast and uh, be alone sometimes to yourself. And it's not an easy road. It's not. You're going to have some challenges. And like I said earlier, you might take some steps back before you take some steps forward. But as long as you have that mindset, as long as you know and you see yourself where you ultimately would be, you'll always get back on track and you'll always endure those hard times and, and keep, keep going on the, onto the mission. But I want to salute Jeezy and people like Jeezy because I'm highlighting Jeezy because, you know, he, he has a name and a lot of people can identify that. If I said my friend, you know, John Doe, you can not identify it. You may even be saying I'm, I'm making it up. It doesn't really hit home, but you can go look at these interviews and you can see what I'm saying and it'll resonate with you. Um, so that's why I'm using Jeezy, but a lot of people can relate to this. You can relate to this, I'm sure. I know I can, but you gotta cut off those relationships and uh, deny yourself of some things in order to evolve and stay on course. Um, but the mind, protect your mind, challenge your mind. At all costs, protect your mind. Listen to people. You don't have to follow. Listen to information. Embrace information. Weed out what you don't need, what is not useful. But, you know, keep it, uh, keep it in your uh, repository. Because you might have to pull, pull it out at some, at some point. Um, whatever you think you are, that's who you are. Wherever you can see yourself going, that's where you are. And uh, you can't expect people to understand that, even people you love, even people that say they love you, you can't expect them to embrace that because each man must carry his own cross. They have their cross, you have your cross, and sometimes we gotta separate. Sometimes we may separate for a moment, for a season or two, and come back together. And sometimes we, we don't, and that's okay. You know, uh, you came into this world alone, you're going you're gonna to leave out of this world alone. You got your own mission. So uh, embrace change. Embrace the law of polarity. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It means you're on the right track. If you're not faced with challenges, if you're not faced with adversity, man, you're not making moves. You're stagnant. And uh, that's a sin within itself. So yeah, yeah, toasters, protect your mind, feed your mind at all costs. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, me to you, love, peace.